How's it howling, wolves? I'm Pierre Lucarelle with your weekly Wolfcast News. Today is Monday, January 26, 2015. Are you fully recovered from the semester exams? It's okay. You can rest for now and prepare for the exams coming up at the end of the year. Tomorrow, Tuesday the 27th, BASIC is hosting a blood drive in the Ox Gym, starting at 7 a.m. to 12.46 p.m. Help keep BASIC the number one blood donor in the district. The general public is also allowed to donate before students, so we highly encourage outside support. Remember, you are actually saving lives by donating. Also on Tuesday, we are having the ASVAB interpretation in room 144 at 9 a.m. Friday the 30th, the Ski and Snowboarding Club is having a field trip to Brinehead, Utah at 4 a.m. and return at 9 p.m. Saturday the 31st, Basic High School's Choir's Annual Soup and Sing will be held in the MAC at 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Now to sport. Thank you, Pierre. I'm Chance reporting this week's sports. Today is 26, and our men's and women's basketball teams will play against Foothill here in our gym, where boys and girls freshmen start off the ball game at 3.30, followed by boys JV and girls varsity at 5. And then at 6.30, girls JV and boys varsity close out the night. Tuesday, 27th, Basics Wolfpack Wrestling will be facing Green Valley at Green Valley High. JV at 6 o'clock, varsity at 7. Wednesday, 28th. Our men's and women's basketball teams will be playing against El Dorado here in our gym, where boys and girls freshmen start off the ball game at 3.30, followed by boys JV and girls varsity at 5, and then 6.30, girls JV, boys varsity, close out the night. Also, basic slack football team will be facing Foothill on our field. JV starts at 3.30, varsity 4.30, freshmen at 6. Thursday 29, Basics Wolf Black Wrestling returns with another home match against Rancho. JV at 6, varsity at 7. Friday the 30th, will be Basics flag football team facing off Green Valley. JV starts at 3.30, varsity at 4.30. Freshman at six. That concludes this week's sports. Now for our Sears segment about our news in our nation. For your awareness with Alistair. History was made January 20th as President Barack Obama addressed a recent tragedy. Leela Alcorn, a transgender 17-year-old, committed suicide on December 28, 2014 from lack of gender acceptance, saying the parents are to blame. The teenager's death has sparked awareness about the struggles a transgender person encounters on a daily basis. Leela's last words left in the suicide note shed more light as to what life was like living in the teenager's shoes. Leela writes, To put it simply, I feel like a girl trapped in a boy's body, and I felt that way ever since I was four. Alcorn goes on to explain, when I was 14, I learned what transgender meant and cried of happiness. After 10 years of confusion, I finally understood who I was. Immediately informing parents only to receive highly negative responses, followed by enrollment in gender conversion therapy handled by religious influence. Eventually, Alcorn's parents removed Leela from school and all possible social life to focus on changing their child's gender identity, where Leela reveals the misery felt in detailed description about Alcorn's parents, writing, they felt like I was attacking their image and that I was an embarrassment to them. Alcorn goes on to explain in further detail why life was no longer tolerable living as an unaccepted transgender teen, unable to transition in one's gender from identity, male to female. Alcorn closes the note stating, the only way I will rest in peace is if one day transgender people aren't treated the way I was. They're treated like humans with valid feelings and human rights. Gender needs to be taught in schools. The earlier the better. My death needs to mean something. My death needs to be counted in the number of transgender people who commit suicide this year. Transgender acceptance tragedies don't stop there. Young individuals have been murdered just for being transgender. This year's results cited by the Huffington Post report, an 8-year-old was beaten to death by the child's own father. A 14-year-old strangled to death and stuffed under a bed. Teenagers shot and stabbed to death, even mob beatings just for their gender identities. Reasons why people like Leela Alcorn want society to change because of what they may face living as a transgender person beyond their home as it becomes a growing problem in today's society without awareness and acceptance. Alcorn's last wish was for society to accept and understand the transgender community as equals rather than confused affections in today's society. Resulting in a petition on Change.org, a social activist movement organization website where the Transgender Human Rights Institute asked President Barack Obama, Senator Harry Reid, and Representative Nancy Pelosi to motion a ban on transgender conversion therapy in the United States. Conversion therapy, other known as reparative therapy, aimed to change the sexual orientation and or gender identity of an individual. As many as one in three LGBT people undergo conversion therapy, 
while a large number of them experienced depression as a result. The petition has gained over 320,000 signatures as of January 20th, 2015. Finally succeeded in starting the beginning of a better future for transgender people. President Obama is taking action to make Leela's dying wish come true for everyone. You can support the campaign to end conversion therapy by signing up for a Change.org account or via Facebook and signing your name to the current petition in the web address below. Link in the description if it remains available. This concludes our national news segment for this week's news. We'd like to thank you for watching and ask that you show your support for our efforts in bringing you quality news updates by leaving a like for our hard work at the Wolfcast News Network. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss another update. Have a safe week, Wolves. Got warmer outside. But it's not summer yet!